welcome to another episode of Run With Julia with Twitten just on the edge of Hyde Park because I am running in <laughs> we've hit a little traffic block um, running a Hyde Park 5k run through just over at the bandstand so we're nearly there and I've got my camera man with me making him run on a Saturday <laughs> he normally doesn't run on Saturdays <laughs> but today and this will be the first race of me being 65 so a new age group I was 65 last month and I thought right the time has come let's go and run a race in my new age category also I have a run through pass holder does it say it's on it yes pass holder I'm a pass holder now it's a wonderful system that you pay well I've got the south so I paid 300 pounds and I can enter any race I want and they're about £25 a race. So Ida, last year, she says so she ran 30 races. So her races ended up £10 a race. So far, this is race number one. <laughs> the, race, the year has been very super busy with my work and I've had intentions to run in races, but I haven't. I did run in January, but I was warming them up. So then you get an entry anyway, and I ran barefoot. So this is number one, race number one. So if I never run another race this year, this is a very, very special race. It's my first 65, also costs 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel quite good. At the moment, I'm entering a 300 pound race, which I feel is a, is a good way to crack into my 65 to 69 age group. So here we are, Hyde Park, lovely morning. And the run through, now we're about, less than half a mile away, so I'll see you there. Here it is. I'm just going, going to check, given this is my first one to pass holder, that I'm all signed up and that I don't have to register anything. Better go and do that. So I'll go and find a, a person. <laughs> squidged a bit because there's a barrier <laughs> so I'm going to do some strides and there's uh, 14 minutes to go
an oat thing. Shall I get another one? <laughs> I'll ask the lady. I ran. No idea, do you? No, because I meant to look at the clock when I crossed the line. But I was waving to my friend who had been the compare when I did the three warm ups in Victoria Park. George. It's George, isn't it? I hope it's George. I'll ask. Hello, thank you. Is the guy who's comparing called George? George? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not on a video, so never mind. See you little mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's very lovely, and he gave me a big cheer. And as I ran the course, lots of people knew me. <laughs> I had a huge amount of people going, Go Julia, hello Julia, go Julia, hello Julia. And I was like, Ah, oh. even though I've been absent for a few months, I haven't been forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a coffee shop. We were in Joe and the Juice. And it was really fun. But very loud. Lots of music and sounds of people and life and Saturday afternoonishness. And so we're here in Chelsea Green, which is very near where we live. And it's lovely. It's a village kind of atmosphere <laughs> in the middle of London. So I had fun. I did decide that it was time I ran a race. And I was reflecting to Anadi that I ended up running only about a minute off my best in recent in the recent year. The last time I ran sub 22 was on July the 26th last year. I ran 21.57, and today I ran 23.04. I don't know the actual result, but I make up. I was probably the fastest over 61 year old. I don't know where I came in the race because as yet it doesn't show. It shows my time, but not the position and I was very happy with that on lots of levels. One, I enjoyed it, I felt strong and it was fun running around Hyde Park and two, I haven't actually done as much training this year as I have been doing but I have kept very consistent and I think that that is always a policy of mine that I maintain all the time because I always think there'll come a point where I might have the space, or will have the space and energy, both emotional and physical, to go for it again. So I always do intervals every week. I always do a longish run, probably only going, been going maximum eight or nine miles recently. But always two gym sessions a week, train every day, occasional day off, and maintain, maintain. And that means that I'm always ready to race. And I had this thought going round. I knew about where I was because you can't kind of not, especially when there's paces, you know, there's some 10k paces. And so I had this idea that I'd aim to go under 23. I didn't quite do it. I just found out that the run 
<clears throat> that was 23.04 and that I was fifth female, I was first over 65 and that it currently ranks me the fifth fastest 65 to 69 year old in the UK. So just a little bit of extra info. As always, thank you. Thank you for running with me and following me and being interested. And if you like the video, as always, please put the thumbs up and like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.